perform division involving signed mixed numbers, we'll first convert the mixed numbers to improper fractions, and then we'll convert the division problems to multiplication problems, simplify, and then multiply. So for the first example, we can write negative six in fraction form by making a denominator of one. So we'll have negative six over one divided by two and two ninths as an improper fraction would have a denominator of nine, and the numerator would be nine times two plus two, which would be twenty. And now instead of dividing by twenty ninths, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of nine twentieths. So we'd have negative six over one times nine over twenty. And now before we multiply, we do want to simplify. Notice how the six and the twenty do have a common factor of two. And I always like to show that, so I'm going to write six as two times three. The nine's not going to simplify. And I'll write twenty as two times ten, knowing the common factor is two here and here. Now we can go ahead and multiply. We have a negative times a positive, so that's negative. The numerator would be three times seven, which is twenty-seven. The denominator would be one times ten, which is ten. So this fraction is simplified, but it is an improper fraction. Let's go ahead and convert it to a mixed number. We know it's going to be a negative mixed number, and then we'll take twenty-seven and divide by ten. Well, there are two tens in twenty-seven. Two times ten is twenty, the remainder of seven. So our mixed number is two and seven tenths. Let's take a look at a second example. The first step is to convert these to improper fractions. It's a negative fraction, the denominator is three. The numerator would be three times two plus two, which is eight, divided by, second fraction is a negative with a denominator of nine and the numerator would be nine times one plus one, which is ten. Next, we'll convert this division problem to a multiplication problem by multiplying by the reciprocal of negative ten ninths. So we'll have negative eight thirds times negative nine tenths. So notice how we do have a common factor of three here and a common factor of two here. Let's go ahead and show that. So we'll have negative two times four for eight. Three is prime. Nine is three times three, and 10 is two times five. Notice how I didn't write out the prime factorization here because I knew the only common factor was two. So two over two simplifies to one, and three over three simplifies to one. So now we can multiply. A negative times a negative is positive. The numerator would be four times three, which is twelve, and the denominator would be five. So to convert this to a mixed number, we would divide twelve by five. Well, there's two fives in twelve with the remainder of two. So twelve-fifths is equal to two and two-fifths. I hope these two examples were helpful.